Today we're going to be looking at the Nawer Alien X quadcopter frame. Now this is a rather inexpensive quadcopter frame for those looking to get their feet wet in the world of multi-rotors. A unique thing about the shape of this frame is that the front arms are much farther apart than the arms on the back and this enables you to ensure that the arms in the front are not captured by the camera's field of view. The frame also comes with a camera mount with vibration isolators and these vibration isolators help to reduce the jello effect when mounting a camera on this mount. The arms are surprisingly rigid and probably a little stiffer than some of the frames you'll get from vendors like Hobby King. It's probably not as stiff as the original DJI flame wheel but pretty good for the price. The fiberglass in the center is a little flimsy but when all the bolts are inserted and when the arms are installed the whole frame is reasonably rigid. The holes on the frame line up pretty well however it is advised that you get all the screws in first get them started and then tighten them at the end. Now if you have a flight controller like the DJI NASA, you can mount it to either the bottom plate or the top plate. And for flight controllers like the KK 2.0 board, you can mount it either to the top plate or the bottom plate using the provided standoffs. At the back of the frame, there's this cage mount that lets you mount the battery inside the cage, on top of the cage, or alternatively you can have two different battery packs on the lower shelf and on the upper shelf. Now one notable omission from this frame is a built-in power distribution board. You can however get around this using a standalone power distribution board and this might really make it very easy if you have to switch out frames in the event of a crash. The vibration isolators on the front camera mount are a little tricky to get in. The trick to getting them in is to pinch the top of the vibration isolator and then push it in till the isolator inserts itself into the mount. Our overall thoughts about this frame, it's an extremely inexpensive frame that's well thought out, well built, reasonably rigid, and is great for a beginner. The link to this frame is in the description below, so feel free to check it out. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews.